Assalamu alaikum guys. So as you already know, I am a huge proponent of people gaining more and more control over their lives for so many obvious reasons, especially as Muslim, notwithstanding the fact that I'm, I predict, not that I'm like a uh, predictor, but I, I think the world is going in a, in, in, in a situation where uh, uh, eventually everybody's going to be working for themselves anyway. Even if you are an employee and you have a skill that you can give to an employer and you feel like you're not the type of person who would be a good entrepreneur, it looks like the world's moving into a situation where you would still be like working for yourself as like a contractor, for example. And companies, it's just the world looks like it's going that way. I may or may not have got that entire spiel from the Naval podcast with Joe Rogan. I uh, would definitely recommend listening to parts of that podcast because it's um, really interesting if you're into the kind of this kind of thing. I thought I would speak to you guys about some side hustle ideas that could eventually, could uh, become huge money makers. So I'm gonna start by going over some of the more obvious ones that you would have already seen in other videos. I'm just skimming over them if you haven't already seen them or if you just wanna like look into them more and like search them on Google and find out more about them. But then uh, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go over five ideas that I think are a bit more unique uh, that aren't necessarily mentioned in all of the videos where you know side hustles are mentioned and stuff. So the obvious ones that people like talk about all the time uh, that are great money makers that you can look into are, and, and I'm a huge proponent of, are things like online courses. I do online courses. I think online courses are a great money maker. If you have a skill uh, that can be monetized, definitely look into online courses, of course, because you create one course and then you can just kind of monetize it by reselling it again and again and again. It's a digital product. Digital products are amazing because there's no labor intensive work after the product is done. There's no shipping. There's no packaging. The costs are low once the product is created uh, and you could, and it's got an un unlimited stock. If 1 billion people want you to buy my course, link in bio uh they could essentially because it's uh, but if one people one billion people wanted to buy the game uh that we sell it'd be a bit of a problem because you don't have one billion pieces of the game also then similarly to online courses uh and staying on track with kind of teaching people a skill that you have uh, of course online consulting is another way that people make uh, a lot of good money uh, and I've spoken in the past on a past video about uh, the use of Calendly and how you can basically send your calendar link out to people uh, and they can book a slot with you and it goes straight into your calendar and they can even pay on the Calendly app so it's like really smooth so definitely look into Calendly. Uh, affiliate schemes another one like uh, uh, we, uh, again you'll find on so many videos like uh, Amazon affiliates and stuff like that basically if you have a following you recommend products to people uh, and when uh, a large mass of people buy those products uh, you get kickback from places like amazon and, and other affiliate programs uh, drop shipping another huge one like especially with the rise of shopify i remember a few years ago shopify hit 1 billion customers you could essentially go to a place like alibaba or go to your local wholesale market buy something brand it yourself and then flip it and sell it on your own shopify people have made millions uh, doing this and uh, like yeah, I suppose like the main thing is keeping an eye on what's on trend if there's a certain type of uh, phone stand that's popular like remember a few years ago like everybody started getting the ring lights like at that point people probably made millions of the ring lights just ordered a bunch of them from Alibaba put their logo on it and put it on a Shopify site so um, again maybe like a short term thing but if you can uh, if you can like keep up to date with trends and like get one that blows then uh, you could leverage that by then having a more sustainable long-term business if you know what you're doing and then in general just like flipping things in general like uh, my brother-in-law for example uh, flips cars uh, so buying old cars uh, fixing them up and then selling them and if you sell like you know a few good cars in a month uh, I suppose you could make a lot of money I know nothing about cars <laughs> that's why this is in the category of my like initial like good ways to make money really far like intro bit and not in my like top five uh, unique ideas. Okay, so that was my very brief, quick overview of some of the more common uh, side hustles that are spoken about that could be big money makers. But now I'm gonna go over my five ideas that I think uh, are less often spoken about, but can be huge money makers. And I'm gonna give some examples, so let's get into it. Okay, so my first idea is email newsletters. Ugh, boring, I know. But these things are huge. There was a time where email was huge, and then uh, it kind of like, 
we were thinking, okay, emo's gonna die because of like text messages and all of that kind of stuff. And it didn't. Emo has like been the most consistent form of communication since the internet. And the reason I don't think it's gonna die is because there's huge companies who are making bank off of email newsletters. And so if you feel like you understand a niche, definitely create an email newsletter. There's so many advantages. But an overview is an email newsletter basically is when you collect uh, loads of people's email addresses with consent and according to the, uh, what is it called again? The TB, the... Yeah, GDPR, that's it. So obviously you'd have to comply to GDPR, but collecting emails at mass, um, let's say for example, you uh, want to create a newsletter that you send out every single week about tech news and you have an email newsletter site everyone who's into tech they sign up they just put the email in for free essentially like a lot of these guys are doing it for free and then you send them an email newsletter every week with the latest tech news and halas. and how do you make money off that you ask well there's many different ways of making money for email newsletter essentially because an email newsletter is your own platform rather than it being like a subscriber on youtube or a follower on instagram it's you you get the data and so what happens then is you own an email list of let's say for example one million people who are interested in tech so that's great for advertisers you go to advertisers and you say look I have a million people who are interested in tech who are subscribed to me and they opted in which means that they're even more likely to um, I suppose convert uh, when it comes to sales because they were interested enough to like actively go and subscribe to your newsletter right uh as so you can go to advertise with it or you can go for the long-term gain game as well and actually like sell it to a big tech company and that's where the example comes in so there's two big newsletters that i'm a, a follower of uh, but i'm sure there's many uh, but there's one called the hustle and there's another one called morning brew i love morning brew and so to give you an idea of the context of how big these things can be uh the hustle uh, recently sold to i think hubspot for 27 million dollars i believe let me check those numbers uh, yeah 27 uh, million dollars and uh morning brew is worth 75 million dollars that's crazy morning brew i think i've heard this complete story of morning brew on uh, how i built this and i think it was started by like two guys they had this idea and they just send a daily newsletter with the morning news especially in the world of, like startups and tech and business uh, in general like kind of more like S uh, san francisco silicon valley kind of vibe and uh, they send what send it daily it's like a really short bullet point kind of thing yeah newsletter is number one idea number two is becoming a uh, like a growth marketer, right? And so growth marketing is a concept where it's a marketing uh, strategy where you basically get high growth as a business. So like, uh, meaning like loads of followers or loads of customers, customer acquisition in general for low, with low resources. Now you might be thinking, well, why would, how is that possible? That just sounds like a scam because that's what everybody would want. Everybody would want to spend a little bit of money and put in and get loads of like conversion, right? Uh, but the, the thing with growth marketing is that growth marketing is very difficult. And, and the way it works is a person has to really understand the latest trends and know how to capitalize off them. The latest trends and latest tools, right? And many startups, for example, or, or, or businesses that are like medium sized, like restaurants and stuff like that, may not have the understanding or the time to spend time being obsessed with the latest trends and latest tools. You and I are kind of born in this tech era, right? Where for us, a lot of these tools are we just know them at the back of our hand. So if, for example, you wanted to quickly create an Instagram graphic, you might know, oh, I can use Canva. Whereas a 50-year-old restaurant owner might not know and then might put out like a really dead Instagram post, right? So the way you would become like a growth marketer is you become obsessed with understanding the latest trends, the latest tools uh, that are used on, for example, social media. Because you guys, because we consume the media often because we're on YouTube and stuff like that, we know what's in trend on, for example, TikTok. And so you would go to a business and you would say, hey, this kind of TikTok is really popular. This could go viral. And then you'd help them make those TikToks. So you strategize those TikToks. Or for example, you would say, oh, there's a new app called TikTok and you guys need to be on it. These are examples of when you understand trends, you understand tools that are very frequently uh, used. You understand how to grow something very quickly. Um, that service in itself can be used to help grow other people's businesses. You can charge for that. Okay, so number three is creating something that already exists 
uh, but specific for Muslims. So I've always been really strong on this and I've mentioned it in a podcast uh, a few months back, I think, where I was talking about a bit about like the Naval thing and uh, explaining that Muslims need uh, Muslim specific services. So my point was that there's great, sometimes it's not about having like a new idea, sometimes it's about seeing which ideas are, or, or, or which brands and businesses and concepts do really well, not stealing the idea, but creating something that's applicable to Muslims for it. Because we have a very specific way of life, right? Um, in that specific, in having a specific way of life, there might be a really good concept that exists or business that exists, but there's an element of it that is impermissible. And if we tweaked it, we could uh, uh, create a service to like one billion people, how many Muslims are there in the world? To billions of people, right? Or like at least, yeah, lots of people. Number four is software as a service or SaaS or even PaaS, uh, which is product, no, platform as a service. Uh, examples of softwares or platforms as services are stuff like G Suite, Amazon Web Services, uh, Dropbox, and Canva, right? So Canva, which we already mentioned earlier, is this um, web, uh, an online platform where basically like you can just design stuff like YouTube thumbnails, Photoshop graphics, and it's made for people who don't know how to design graphics, right? So not like me. Creating software as a service is, is similar to what we were talking about earlier about digital products. It's a digital product and you can charge a monthly fee for it or uh, like a one-off fee for it. But the point is that it's unlimited. You put in the effort first and it's not too difficult. The, uh, the, the tough thing is having the idea. I think once you have the idea, you can find develop if you don't have the technical know-how you can find developers you can raise money to like invest in developers and designers and stuff like that right uh, but to give you an example of what that how much that could be worth is uh, canva is currently worth wait for it 40 billion dollars with a b that's how much canva is worth 40 billion like this is it is mind boggling. Okay, idea number five, and it's my final idea, is white labeling a business and going heavy on branding and marketing. So again, if you're talking about side hustles, the idea of a side hustle is that you don't have like full time time to put into it. And so that's perfect uh, for white labeling. White labeling is when businesses already offer uh, services and products and they allow you to create, a to create a brand where you sell their products and services, but under your own label right so it's like white labeled it's like got no label on it uh, a lot of uh, for example uh, domain web uh, domain searching tools are, offer white labeling, labeling services so people who buy domains let's say for example i want to buy freshlyguarded.com i want to go to godaddy.com buy freshlyguarded.com i could create my own website under a white label service and uh, where people can come to my website and buy domains, and I can add my own uh, fee on top. So let's say, for example, GoDaddy charge nine, or I shouldn't speak about a specific brand, uh, but like, let's say, for example, a domain service charges £9.99 for a .com domain. Uh, they allow me to white label their service and create my own website. They do everything for me. I just got to change my logo and stuff. And they say, okay, for you, uh, we're going to give uh, you the domain at... Uh, you can uh, at eight ninety nine anything extra uh, you is your money right so like I sell it for ten ninety nine so every time somebody buys a domain of, from me I make two pounds uh, that's an example method of a um, of white labeling a, a great example of white labeling could be like like a, com a combination of these ideas let's say you set up a tech newsletter in that tech newsletter you got your one million people who are into tech and into uh, online businesses and you could like whenever you promote uh, creating businesses you can always promote your white labeled business for selling domains so that's an example of how these things can work together so it's just about like being clever with them that's my two cents on online businesses or uh, uh, side hustles uh, that you can essentially do from home, but eventually uh, leverage to become huge money makers uh, if you do them right. Uh, I hope this video is beneficial, inshallah. And if you like this kind of video, then please do click subscribe. Let me know how you found the video and comment below if you have any other ideas and what other video you would like to see next. With that being said, I've been Faisal. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.